um, on the transgender directive. 82% of transgender children report feeling unsafe at school. So isn't the president leaving some of these children open to vulnerable to being bullied at school? No, I mean, there's a, there are bullying um, laws and policies in place in almost every one of these schools. Transgender children say but that I, their I don't experiences think, hold on. I, not right. being able to use the bathroom that they feel comfortable I, using but, but again, you're, you're, but you're missing bullying. the point here, Kristen. The president said literally it should be a state decision. He respects the decision of the state, so therefore, the state's rights issue. No, no, that's not. You're you're trying to make an issue out of something that doesn't exist. It was the court who stopped this in August of last year. Okay, so where were the questions last year in August about this? It wasn't implemented correctly, legally, and the procedure wasn't followed because the court found at the time that it didn't have the authority to do that. So you're you're asking us why we're following the law that wasn't followed. Well, and the reality is, hold on. No, no, we're, we're not reversing it. Hold on, we're not reversing it. We're, that, you're, that is a misinterpretation of the scenario. The court stopped it. It enjoined it in August of last year because it wasn't properly drafted and it didn't follow the procedures and there was no legal basis for it in a law that was instituted in 1972. So hold on, for you to use those terms, frankly, doesn't reflect what the situation actually is and how it happened. That's just, so to talk about us reversing something that was stopped by the courts. No, no, but, sending a message no, we're not. Decisions. We're basically saying that it's a state's rights issue. If a state chooses to do it, as I mentioned in April, when this circumstance came up at one of the president's own properties, he was very clear about his position on this. So for you to turn around and say, what message is the president saying? Where was the message when he sent it last year? I think the message shows that he's a guy with a heart that understands the trouble that many people go through. But he also believes that the proper legal recourse for this is, some, is with the states. He believes in the state's ability to determine what's right for their state versus another state. I so understand what you're saying, but the LGBTQ community yesterday said they felt the I, I understand they were what, receiving is that but, those but kids are not There's a difference protect. between what people may or may not feel and the legal, the legal process and the law. And the law right now doesn't allow for it under Title IX that was passed in 1972, and the procedure wasn't followed. The court saw this in August of last year for a reason. And all we're doing is saying that the proper place for this is in the states. And, and, and so to, for you to suggest what message is this sending, it's very simple, that it's a state's rights issue and the states should enact laws that reflect the values, principles, and will of the people in their particular state. That's it, plain and simple. Right,